Hey, we're going to have a look at something I like to call a minor slip. So this is really for when you're soloing in um, a bluesy sort of fashion or uh, you're using the pentatonic scale essentially. So what can happen is you've got your pentatonic stripped out a couple of notes from the minor scale. So what happens if we put them back in, but just this tiny little subtle bit. So we'll have a quick look at pentatonic, um, just going in the E position. Now I'm going to flip this around to a that shape, just because it's how I play it. I love it. Okay, now we've got our second octave. Great, awesome little pentatonic scale. Now, our minor scale, however, is all right. And what we've actually got is this note. And if I translate that, it's back here on the second fret. And we've got this note, so we can actually leave it there. All right, or you could go back there, but I won't. So let's have a look at what can happen. Let's slip in that little note. So you're just sliding the slightest little adds this really nice little touch to it. So you can hear that that brings in a real major feel to it. Okay, so you're sort of playing around with some intervals here as well. All right, now let's have a look at our second octave, and this is where the uh, fun really starts. So from here, there's our pentatonic. Now, that's our second. Okay, and there's our sixth. So, that's our minor. Now to slip between it, say if I'm here, I'm probably using this real bounce between that um, third and fourth and slip back to that seventh. And again, hitting into that, that note. there I've used that uh, blues scale with the flat fifth and then I've sort of symmetrically matched it on the other side with the minor slip really cool now that's mucking around with that second note there what happens if we hit this sixth It's a far more minory feel to it, I guess, um, because the ninth, it, it's used in the major as well, but the flat sixth is not, so. You 
you know, you can't help but feel minory. So, subtle, just slipping it in there, or nice little bend. One other thing that I really like is if you're adding that sixth in, you can do this really cool little sweep there, and it's a little minor sweep. And it sounds really cool. Slip back and forth into this minor, it changes the feel of your lead. Okay, so we're giving you some new tools here and ways to mold your scales together. When you slip that in with the blues stuff as well, so. You get some great runs. And they're really jumping between styles and intervals there. Now, just to note, of course, we've got our third here, and we've got this extension box. You've got your second just back here. Okay, so you've got that note right there and you've also got nice little sweep there. Again, subtlety is the key with this. And just to round it out, you've got your fifth. There's a sixth right there. put a whole minor run in there if you like. You can, of course, mix that with your blues. Great fun. We'll leave it there. I'll see you next time.